Hi guys, in this episode of Ready K, I am really excited to be checking out the solo debut of a Wanna Wii member, that being Giyuk with his song Time Machine 2100. Now, I believe he's the guitarist of Wanna Wii, of Wanna Wii or at least one of the guitarists based on the opening shot of this music video that I'm looking at right now. Um, and I don't really know too much what to expect about this. Um, I'm expecting that it's gonna be hard hitting and energetic, or at least hoping that that's gonna be the case because that's the kind of music that I enjoy the most from Wanawi, and I feel like he's one of the members that I enjoy the most. Um, I'm not quite sure because I haven't really focused on like learning the members and learning their names and everything, but I think he's one of the more entertaining members, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna enjoy this quite a lot. But there's only one way to find out whether I will or, or I won't, so without further ado, let's get into it and find out in three. Two, one. Please just don't give me a straight up pilot. Okay, he is not. I'm definitely into this one for sure. I think I found my bias in Wanawi. This sounds like an anime opening, honestly. Man, this is really fun. Also, he's really pretty. This is exactly what I hoped it was it was gonna be. Is that a, an inception reference? Well I know what's gonna be the thumbnail for this one. Or maybe this, this looks pretty good as well. His voice is really good, man. And his guitar skills as well. Having that strong guitar as the instrumental definitely makes this so much better. Man, I really feel like he's really fucking targeting me with this song, man. It's like, it's appealing to my taste directly. We're definitely listening to this one a second time. And I'm saying that it's appealing to me directly because it's like... I love guitars, I love the sound of guitars, and I love whenever songs have some really strong hard guitars in them. It always makes them so much more powerful and energetic, and I love it. And then you have the energy of this song, the kind of... Uh, uh, very like well not very like slightly futuristic 
twang to it that it also has as well. Kind of feels a little bit like an anime opening, which is another thing that I love about it as well. I honestly thought at first that it was in Japanese and not in Korean, so there's that. And also he, the concept of the song or the music video or whatever, it's like a time machine and I'm a huge fan of time travel. So that is another thing that I love about this. It's like perfectly tailored for me, man. I do feel like there's some ways you could have made it a little bit better because I, I do feel like this feels like a... Uh, it doesn't quite feel as impactful as like a proper comeback of Wannawee, but it's also not supposed to be. It's a solo song. It definitely feels like it. I feel like there's, for lack of a better term, an oomph that is missing in this, like a kind of like a more bassy punch uh, that could be added to the song to make it more impactful and more interesting, but still... I like it just the way it is. It's very energetic, it's very enjoyable, it's very fun, it's very entertaining, and I really, really enjoy it. I honestly can tell you right off the bat that it's probably going to be a 10 out of 10, but before I officially say my rating, I will be listening to it a second time. So without further ado, let's get into it again in 3, 2, 1. I love how he hits the ground running with this song and it just doesn't stop until the end. I love how much attitude this song has, man, as well. Like, he could have had it like a boring rap here, but he also added some spice and attitude to it, and I love that. I love how not repetitive this song is, like he's constantly switching it up and keeping it interesting, I love that. And you also have a little bit of a guitar solo here at the end, it's just so fucking good, I love it. This is a straight 10 out of 10 for me, man. Yeah, I do still feel like uh, like some of my favorite Wannawee songs are still better than this. 
But this is still fucking good. I love it. I'll be listening to this song for sure. I really, really enjoy this one. But yeah, I honestly don't have much more, uh, much more to say other than this. It's very heart hitting. It's very energetic. It's very powerful. I really, really like it. I do wish it had a little bit of that oomph that I feel it's missing that one of these songs usually have. But I do still enjoy it. I still really like it a lot, so yeah, it is what it is. But I am curious, what do you guys think about this song? So comment your thoughts down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently four patrons on Patreon. Omar Richman, Deadpool, Corvidet and Andrew. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me, you have decided to support me, you have continued to support me for such a long time, hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do like and subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you want to join my stories or simply join my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where I can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't, don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!